Hello and welcome, this is Demax and today I want to make another Sony Vegas tutorial. Um, a friend of mine asked me for a specific effect which um, occurred a couple of times in uh, the anime Dragon Balls. So um, I looked up two of uh, two examples. Uh, one is from from a Dragon Ball movie which was with Broly. I didn't watch the movie so I don't know um, what the movie is called but the effect occurs in this one here. And also in a recent one, uh, which is in Dragon Ball Super, they put in like the same effect. So I want to show you guys how to do it. So I'm looking for these effects now. Okay. It's right here. Like the circle thingies going out changing colors you can see um, this looks like they really drew another background like you can see it really changes um, this is not not really doable in the uh, in, in this program here because if you want to do it like exactly like this, you have to do um, another background as well. Um, but like you can see in this example here from uh, in a more recent episode, um, they made it much easier. And this is like you can recreate this easy. They just change colors inside the surface. And there's also another occasion when this happens. Uh, it's right here, I think. Yeah. Like you can see they really like it, so it's going, starting here. Just starting at uh, the character and extending over the whole screen, just changing colors. Okay, now let's recreate this one here. Um, I take... Um, one scene, I will take the scene where you can see his face and starting to doing like light beams out of it, like this one here. And let's see how I will do it till the screen switches, like till here. Okay, this is where we want to, to set our effect. So I will make it, um, I will make it like you can see, uh, I don't know how her name is, Kali. Okay, we'll make it like this. Okay, so first we need um, we need to split the audio and the video track. This is easy. Just right click on your on your clip, go to group, and clear the group so you can um, handle them individually. Now we need more video layers. So um, go on the left side here. Left click, uh, right click on your video layer, and insert another video track. And one more. You also can you also see like Control Shift Q is adding one. You can also use hotkeys. Um, now I need this one here two um, different more times. So I just copy it with um, Control C and Control V insert it in here. So we have the same thing three times. And now I want to make it like in three equal long parts. So we can see it goes from zero to three so it's just like one second i need to aim for one cut per second so it's like here at two seconds one more here and we have pretty much equal parts okay now we have three equal parts on two video layers this is our ori original layer um, we don't really we don't really need to make something with this one now we need to um put in a circles, a circle movement. And we can do it in two different ways. We could uh, go here, where you can see this symbol here, and mask one. So we go on mask, yes, we choose the circle here, we choose, and this is like the bad thing to do because it's hard to, to find the circle in the D 
the middle of the screen. You don't have to do it by your eyes. And okay, we start with a really small one. Go to our time frame, go to the end of the clip and make it a real big one. A real big one, which is bigger than the whole screen. Okay, like this, so you can see. Um, I put out the other two video layers so you can see in the background the change. Okay, so like you can see, you can make it like this, but this is like the complicated way. Don't do it like this. I just wanted to show you uh, the possibilities. So we will remove the mask, the set mask. Um, there is another way, which is way easier and we have more possibilities to do stuff with, with is like using cookie cutter. You go to the video FX tab here. You can see there are different tabs. Go to video FX, cookie cutter and drag in just the default one. So we don't see anything because we have uh, different same layers. So you can see the real layer um, below it. So it, it won't change. Um, but when we, um, we need to add borders. So you can see I put in borders and you see our circle. Um, the Broly part had really thin borders like this one. You can go maybe 10. Let's see how 10 looks. I think 10 is a little bit too small. Let's do 15. Yeah, 15 looks pretty good. And also this is too sharp. Um, so we can use the feather effect here. You see, this looks way better. So we wanted to go zoom like this. So um, to make it moving, uh, because if we do it like this, you can see the circle won't move, it's just a static. We want it to move from, from inside to outside. So we go um, inside like here, zero, uh, go to the uh, little clock here. So we have our timeline down below. Um, you set your timeline to the end of the clip, put your size maximum. So you want it um, at the end, you want it to be outside. And we can see it's going like you want to. You can now save this setting here by um, typing in a name. Let's call it Dragon Ball. Oh, sorry, dragon or circle and save it. So you don't have to do it like over and over again. Um, now we can see our dragon ball circle is here. Um, we put the dragon ball circle in this clip here as well and in this clip here as well, but it doesn't uh, save the animation. So you still have to do the animation, but you don't have to set a um, border, for example, and feather. So you go in here, um, you set your animation again, and the same for the last clip as well. Go to the end and set the animation again. You can see now we have the three times. Um, one thing which I don't like so much is I need to check out it's going outside um, already in like one third of the clip. So I don't have to go like full out. I can go like maybe to 500. Let's see if 500 is okay. Yeah, 500 is completely outside. Not, not completely. Let's, we, we have to do 600, I think. Um, let's go 600. We do the same for all the clips. Let's see how this looks. Okay, better. Um, now we want a, a color change because we saw like in this part here, I, let me raise real quick these here. So there's like a color. Oh, they did it also 
much quicker. You can you can use shorter parts to get a clip like this. But let's just stay here. I don't want to drag the video too long. Um, now we can use like, um, you can use whatever you want. You see here are all kinds of different um, effects you can just put in. So, but um, I use um, color changing effects. Uh, the uh, gradient map is very good for it, for example, um, because it matches the original much more. Um, let's just use um, sunset. This is a really strong effect, so really visible. So you can see I put it in. It looks like this now. And when you put it in in the first upper clip here, you have to put the same uh, effect in this second row, second clip, because you, this one will be your background for the next one. So put it in here. You can see now the transition is coming out and the background is now here as well. So the same like here as here. And now you put a new effect in the top top lane again. Um, let's do invert now. So it just inverts all colors. So this is re again a really extreme effect. Um, also it will invert the uh, color of your um, outside line of, of your circle. So you can go to your cookie cutter and change the color to white because it inverts to black if you want it to stay black. So it would look like this now. And if you want, you can take, uh, of course, the inversion you see, the transition, you have to put the inversion again as well in the second row, last clip, to make it. Okay, well, I would, if I would edit this like for an um, anime music video, um, I, would, I would stay like this because you have the real color, the real video um, quality at the end. So it's a good transition to the to the other clip. But just to show you one more, um, I make another effect in it. Why not? Um, we can um, go for uh, guardian map again. Let's do overexposed. Maybe why not? So we have three different kinds. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, not too hard to do like you can see here and yeah have fun recreating it playing with all the uh, all the possibilities of this awesome program if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and the subscription would be nice have a nice day and bye bye